So I also believe that the, the legislator can come in this area, that there's a need to stop this so-called waiver. The president's academic staff union of universities, ASU, Victor Osadeke, has urged the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, stop tax waivers meant to fund tertiary institutions in the country. Osadeke, who was speaking during the public hearing on monitoring of collection, utilization, and other associated services relating to education tax from 2011 to 2022, hinged the poor funding of tertiary institutions and incident industrial actions to waivers granted to banks and other private institutions. The fund, which which is applied through a 3% education tax imposed on the accessible profits of companies registered in Nigeria is collected by the Federal Inland Revenue Service and remitted to TED Fund for allocation to eligible tertiary institutions. Why should the president approve a waiver for banks not to pay some tax? And this is the, this is the, the sector of the industry that makes so much profit on yearly basis. So why are you preventing them? This is one of the industries where people are properly paid and you are preventing them. So I also believe that the, the legislator can come in this area, that there is a need to stop this so-called waiver. What do you need to do? Collect the money and do the job. Don't allow the company to go and do the job. We should look for how to stop this idea of waiver. And when, it's, when there is a waiver, that should they have fed the third fund uh, tax? It shouldn't have fed the third fund tax. Because it's not part of what they gave waiver for. The, the third fund tax should be 2% of your accessible profit. Uh, 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 3% of your profit. Whether you are going to do whatever, it's not an issue. You de that like the first bank, you declare 700 and, uh, 700 and uh, that it should be 2% of that amount. 3%, sorry, I'm sorry. It's 3% of that amount. Not say you have the daughter's 750, you have some, just bring it, you now brought it to 200 billion. If we do that, those children who are dropping out of school, those parents, people, those who are committing suicide, and others, we eliminate. Based on that presidential order issued in 2011, there are certain categories of income that are exempt from tax. Some of them include short-term federal investment income from short-term federal government instruments and securities, such as treasury bills and promissory notes. Brand uh, bonds issued by federal, state, and local governments, and bonds issued by corporate bodies, including supra nationalities. The last item there is interest earned by holders of the bond and short term securities listed in paragraph one to three above. So, by, by, by the time, by the time, Madam Chair and members of the committee, by the time you take into consideration income earned from these instruments over the period of the audit of the committee. The difference between the submissions we have made and the submissions you have in your record will be identified and will be able to reconcile. The engagement by the committee is to ensure that the education tax is duly collected by the FIRS as well as putting it to judicious use. What we do is to monitor compliance and they've been regularizing, updating their receipts of payment. And they've been reconciling. And this is where we, as a committee, have arrived at with you. The bone of contention have always and mostly be that the banks seem to be relying on a purported exemption order, which clearly mentioned companies' income tax exemption order of 2011. We have asked the banks to produce the education tax exemption order, and they have failed to present it. We have equally presented with, the, uh, uh, with them that you cannot liken one exemption to another, because in law, you don't summarily assume. Because what is not mentioned is deemed excluded. Education tax was not mentioned in whatever you have shown. And that has been the reason for their back and forth, so that we don't keep wasting the time of parliament. What we are saying here, that for now, I'm, I'm, we cannot conclude, like you are saying, until they furnish the tax computation, yes. which, under professional evidence, their tax consultant, Deloitte, computed, stamped and sealed, and submitted to FIRS. 
which form the basis of whatever assessment that they have done. Even as a doctor, I want to submit that it may not be final because we want to have the Lloyd seated here for cross-examination. The primary objective of TED Fund, as introduced in 1992, is to provide supplementary funding to public tertiary institutions in Nigeria and enhance their infrastructure, academic quality and research capabilities. Our guests are members 